Hey guys, my name is Elizabeth Ham, and I will be serving as your lead learner for American History 1, also known as American History 1. I'm really excited um, to be working alongside of you and learning alongside of you this semester. For many of you, hearing me identify myself as your lead learner may be a little bit different, but here is why I chose those words. As your instructor, it is my job to facilitate your learning and to guide you along your path to success. It is not about what I want or what I need. It's about what you will be able to do with the support of the content and strategies through this course. As an educator and as a human being, I am a lifelong learner. I am passionate about learning and I believe that it is my job to learn right alongside you as we take this journey of American history one together. Now, when accessing your syllabus, please remember that a syllabus is your roadmap to success for a college class as well as an online class. Please make sure that you refer to it often as you look at the grading scale, the attendance policy, um, all of the things that are expected within this course. American History 1 is a three contact hour course and please remember that you are able to drop this course without a grade penalty. Um, the last day to do that is October 21st. Now when it comes to contact information, I believe as an educator it is essential for you and I to communicate on a regular basis for us to be successful together. Being an adjunct instructor, I also have a full-time job, and so I will be most available through email and through text um, on my Google Voice number from the hours of 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. I can also um, do phone calls or set up a virtual meeting um, upon request. It will just be dependent on, on the timing of that. Again, I want to help you. I want to support you. Please, please, please use those pieces of contact information um, to keep us connected. When we look at the course format, it is important to understand that this course will be 100% online. This will be asynchronous, meaning that you will guide this course. Your pacing, I will pace out for you um, a week at a time and then you will continue to move through that. I will talk to you a little bit about pacing in the next video. In order to be successful in this course, you are going to need to be sure that you are taking responsibility for your learning and are asking questions when you don't understand. My job is to meet you where you are and your job is to continue to grow and continue to move forward. As far as required text for this course, um, you are required to have two texts. Both of these are available through the JCC Bookstore as a bundled package. And you also um, have an option for an ebook. Those books are called Give Me Liberty in American History, Volume 1, the sixth edition. And then Eric Fauner, Voices of Freedom, a Documentary History. This is Volume 1 in the sixth edition. We will be using Inquisitive Weekly to guide your instruction, so please be sure that you have purchased those books. We will begin the, um, the Getting Started Inquisitive section um, during the first week of instruction. As far as the course overview, this course is going to focus specifically on this driving question. How have conflict and compromise contributed to the development of political, socioeconomic, and cultural aspects of American society? This question will guide us through our entire course as we think critically and we collaborate to create a positive change in our world today as we reflect on the decisions of our past. For grading in this class, we will have three sections of grading. The first section will be participation, which will take up 20% of your grade. Each week you will be assigned an inquisitive assignment where you will be required to engage with the content. If you complete that assignment and you receive an 80% or higher on your inquisitive weekly assignment, you will gain the 100 points for your 20% participation. You will also have 40% of your grade that is made up of exams and assessments. 
These assessments will be built directly into your weekly work and these, weekly, these unit assessments will also help you build into your final paper. We will talk a little bit more about that as we get into the course. The information is embedded here for your review if you would like to go ahead and view it. I would suggest that you go ahead and start thinking about how you may prepare for this assignment even beginning at the beginning of this course. The last thing that you will um, be receiving grading for is papers and assignments. Each week you will be required to complete a discussion board and respond to peer responses. This discussion board will serve as 40% of your grade weekly and will serve as a place for you to reflect on your learning and make those deep connections. In regards to grading, I believe that as a learner, it is required for you to have clear and direct feedback in order to find success. In saying this, I am going to take the time to provide the feedback that you deserve. In return, I expect the respect and modification of your assignments as you see fit. Please remember that you need to be communicating with me on a regular basis to make sure that we are on the same page. It is important to remember that we are a learning team and in order to learn and grow, we must work together and communicate on a regular basis. I will make the effort to make sure that your unit assessments, your final papers are returned to you promptly and I will ensure that you have quality feedback to continue to work through. As far as late work goes in this course, I understand that we are all human. However, I also understand how important it is to learn the importance of due dates and rigor. So here's what we're going to do. If you will look here for weekly discussion board and post, five points will be deducted per day the assignment is late. Inquisitive assignments, same thing, five points deducted per day the assignment is late. And then for your final paper, nine points will be deducted per day the assignment is, is late. After an assignment is two weeks late, you will no longer be able to submit this assignment. If you have something come up that you are not expecting, please email me or text me and let me know what is going on. Again, I understand that we are all human. However, at the same time, I have high expectations for the quality of your work and the quantity of your work. Remember that through your study of history, writing is a requirement. Um, we will be writing often in this class. We will also be reflecting in other ways. If you need support, um, please be sure to use um, our on-campus support system and I will be giving you more resources for that in your Blackboard support show. Please remember as well that you are attending class, okay? You have to make sure that you are active weekly online, and if you miss more than two weeks in a course, you will be dropped. Please remember, again, that if you are absent, if you are unable to access, you need to be sure that you are communicating. If you have concerns about this course or about anything that happens, I would like for you to um, be respectful and communicate with me first. Again, I believe that that open line of communication is extremely important. However, if you need to continue moving um, up the chain of command, you are more than welcome to contact my supervisor um, and the associate vice president if necessary. I do believe that this course is going to be a learning adventure. We are going to be challenged together, we're gonna to learn together, and we're going to explore together. I think that this course is going to be a lot of fun. I've enjoyed designing it for you, and I am really looking forward to getting to know you some more and adventuring on this journey of knowledge together. See you soon.